Now we will go through the structure of oxoacetyl sulfur. In this first molecule, this is a H2SO3 sulfurous acid. And here, any sulfur oxoacid structure, first remember, sulfur is having sp3 hybridization. Central atom sulfur is having sp3 hybridization. And uh, generally, sp3 hybridization is what is the uh, geometry? Here, geometry means uh, every sp3 hybridized central atom will show tetrahedral geometry. If there is any lone pair, there is a change in the geometry. So, here, sulfurous acid, if you are taking, sulfur is sp3 hybridized. Suppose if it is sp3 hybridized, we will get uh, tetrahedral. And here, how we can write this molecule easily means, please remember, always write sulfur atom as central atom. Then, how many hydrons we have to? And two hydrogens and two oxygen atoms make as OH groups. Here, two hydrogen, two oxygen means two H groups we will get. And one more oxygen is present, it is written as O, double bond O. And next, second molecule, that is H2SO4. Here, H2SO4 means uh, sulfuric acid, and I am writing as a double bond O, OH, OH. Same as this, one more oxygen is present, so I write it as O4. And next, third one. Here third structure that is H2S2O2. Yes, this is called as thiosulfurous acid. Thiosulfurous acid means there is S double bond S, OH group and OH group. Okay, and there is S double bond S in this thiosulfurous acid. And the fourth one that is H2S2O3. Here this is called as thio sulfuric acid and here this structure we can write like uh, S double bond O and here OH and here another OH and here it is S so this is S double bond S okay we can write this S double bond S because this thiosulfurous acid has a three oxygen atoms one two and this is third oxygen okay and sulfur double bond sulfur we can write it down or we can write it upside also. Okay, this is thiosulfuric acid. And next one, fifth one, that is H2S2O4. This is called as dithionous acid. The dithionous acid. Okay, the dithionous acid structure I am writing as single bond as two OH groups. And the remaining two oxygen atoms we can write one oxygen on one sulfur, second oxygen on the other sulfur. Okay, and next uh, sixth one here H2S2O6. This is called as dithionic acid, and here it is S double bond S single bond S, two OH groups on each sulfur atom, one OH group, and the four oxygen atoms are present. So write two oxygens on each sulfur. Okay, this is a S double bond. And next, the seventh one, here it is H2S2O5. Here H2S2O5 means, yes, this is a pyrosulfurous acid. Pyrosulfurous acid, again, S double bond S, OH group, and OH group, and three more oxygen are present. So two oxygens over, and this is having one oxygen and having a lone pair. And here also it is having lone pair. And next, eighth one, here it is H2S2O7. O7 means it is volume or pyrosulfuric acid. Here pyrosulfuric acid we can write like OSOS. And here it is OH. And this is OH. Double bond O, double bond O. Here double bond O, double bond O. Okay, that is a pyrosulfuric acid or volume form. And next to ninth one here, the ninth one. Here it is H2SO5. Here H2SO5 means 
as it is the pyro, uh, sorry, peroxy sulfuric, monosulfuric acid. Here, H2SO5, H2SO4 has similarity. One more oxygen is present in this, so write first H2SO4. Here, this is a OH and double bond O. If you write one more OH, it becomes H2SO4. And uh, four oxygen atoms, H2SO4, five oxygen atoms, so I am writing a peroxy bond. Here, this is called as the peroxy bond present in peroxy monosulfuric acid. And next, 10th uh, one. Here, the 10th one is having H2S2 OH. O7 means between two sulfur on oxygen. O8 means between two sulfur atoms. We are writing two oxygen as a peroxy bond. Okay. Then, double bond O, double bond O. And double bond O and double bond O. And the last one, polythionic acid, that is SN plus 2O6. This is polythionic acid, S, SN, and here S, OH, and this is OH, and sulfur, and this is sulfur, oxygen atom, oxygen atom. So this is N times. Okay, these are the different oxo acids and their structure. Generally, at any sulfur atom, if you see maximum number of bonds formed by sulfur is 6. Its valence is 6. And if you are taking the oxidation number for this, here OH group is minus 1 and sulfur is plus 1. Here OH group is minus 1, sulfur is plus 1. This oxygen gets minus 2, so sulfur is getting plus 2. So in total, it gets plus 4 oxidation state. Similarly here, it is getting plus 6 oxidation state. Here it is having two different oxidation state. This is minus 2 and here we are getting plus 2. It is minus 1, plus 1 and minus 1, plus 1. So this sulfur is getting plus 4 and this is getting minus 2. So two different oxidation state, plus 4 and minus 2, sorry, it is minus 2. Plus 4 and minus 2, two different oxygen states are present. Here also same thing happens. This is a plus 6 and this is minus 2. This is plus 6 and this is minus 2. And here each sulfur is having plus 3 oxidation state. Here each sulfur is having plus 5 oxidation state. Same. Here each sulfur is having different oxidation state. One has a plus 5 oxidation state, plus 5 oxidation state. Another one is having plus 3 oxygen state because it has one oxygen atom less. And H2S2O7, both are having plus 6 oxidation state. And H2SO5, plus 6 oxidation state because of peroxy bond, minus 1 only, here plus 1. H2S2O8 also has same plus 6 oxidation state. Here H2SN plus 2O6, plus 6 oxidation state. And for another sulfur atom, here, these middle sulfur atoms are getting zero oxidation state. Okay, so these are the different oxidation states and uh, structures of those oxo acids of sulfur. Is it clear? Okay, so please practice the structures basing on the tetrahedral structure arrangement. Okay.